Hi, this is Don, KJ6FO from Squirrel Engineering. The purpose of this video is to show you how to follow along with the Flying Squirrel 2 flight on the internet. Start by going to squirrelengineering.com and find the uh, telemetry schedule link. Um, I'll also post this link in the uh, description below. I'm going to go to the PDF version, it's a little easier to see on screen, and zoom it up a bit. There we go. So this is the schedule of what Flying Squirrel 2 will be doing at each minute of the hour. The minutes are uh, down here. There's a repeating 30-minute schedule. There's two types of telemetry that will come out of Flying Squirrel 2. There's whisper type, and then there's the FSQ. The uh, ground stations, which we affectionately refer to as ground squirrels, if they're in contact with the balloon and receiving the telemetry directly, will post the FSQ data up to the internet. And that's what I'm going to show you how you can follow along. It's important to note that for uh, periods of time, these blue periods, there won't be updates. So um, if you want to track the balloon, uh, track it, and then you'll shortly after one of these scheduled FSQ periods, it should update if we decoded it properly from the ground squirrels. The website that you want to go to is called APRS.FI. APRS.FI. That's an unusual domain name. Um, it's not .com, it's .fi, and that'll bring up a map, uh, and I think it places you somewhere in the middle of the United States by default. What you want to do is track the call sign KJ6FO-11, that's Kilo, Juli uh, Kilo Juliet 6, Foxtrot Oscar-11, and then hit search, uh, and that will tell you the present position of the balloon currently at my, uh, my shack here at home. Uh, it's also probably advantageous to set the uh, show last and then maybe 24 hours or so. Um, that way, as the balloon moves, you won't see it here because the balloon hasn't been moving because uh, the balloon is sitting on my desk, but as the balloon moves and the positions update, you'll see a line showing the track of the balloon. And uh, if you click on the link, you'll get some further information, including the altitude. That's the present ground altitude here at the shack temperature in Celsius, battery voltage, uh, and then there'll be a message here um, of, you know, in flight at when it's actually in flight. So go to this website and you can follow along. Um, if you're interested in Whisper, you can go to a website called whispernet.org. Um, click on the map link here and then uh, enter in the call sign KJ6FO. It's Kilo Juliet 6, Foxtrot Oscar slash B, Baker, and uh, make sure you set it to 20 meter band, and set the time period to 30 minutes. If, you, if it's less than 30, you may not, like right now, may not see the balloon because it's transmitting about every 15 minutes and you may miss that window. So set it to 30 minutes, click update, and uh, you'll see the stations that are hearing the balloon. Presently, my home station is the only one that's able to hear it. And it's a little hard to see, but there's two icons here. I'm going to click on the one, and there's KJ6FO slash B, which was heard by KJ6FO. In flight, uh, there's you know hundreds of stations across the United States that hopefully will receive, uh, or at least a few of them will receive it at any given time, and it'll say heard by, and then the list of stations. So you can follow along with that as well. The uh, APRS Phi is far more up to date and more accurate. Um, the whisper will give us a rough indication of where the balloon is. It's used for, for uh, rough tracking should we lose contact with the balloon directly because uh, we have this advantage of a, a several hundred stations listening for whisper signals that will pick this up for us. So that's how you can follow along at home or wherever you are on the internet. I'll produce a separate video for those that want to try and track uh, the balloon directly via radio. 73 is from KJ6FO.